Yo guys, Dim here. Not too long ago I posted a video reviewing this high-long battery case clone that hobbyist e-bike builders could use to build and mount their batteries to their bikes. This is a really cool product and opens the doors to a lot of very high-quality DIY e-bike builds. For a long time you have been able to buy down two batteries in this exact form factor from companies like Unipack Power. What I want to do is compare the cost of the battery that I built to one of these factory-made packs. For my build, I made a 52 volt 25 amp hour battery pack from LG M50LT 21700 cells. I used these cells primarily because I could find them at a very good price from 18650batterystore.com. I used 70 of these cells, 5 in parallel and 14 in series to achieve a 52 volt nominal pack with 36.5 amps of continuous discharge. I used a 40 amp Dolly BMS to balance the groups, monitor the temperature of the pack and prevent the battery from discharging more than 40 amps. So an equivalent battery would be a 52 volt 25 amp hour battery with 40 amps of discharge. Let's see what we can find with those specs. This battery from goldenmotor.bike has the same specs but is $695.99. I think this is way overpriced but let's just consider this as an example. Another battery pack I found from Unipack Power has a comparable battery for $375. This random eBay page sells a similar battery pack for $359. It looks legit enough so let's consider it as well. Now we have three different price points for the same battery, $696, $375, and $359. Let's figure out what it cost me to assemble this pack myself. The 52 volt battery case kit and the pre-cut nickel strips is $50.25. 70 M50 LT cells at $185 a piece comes out to $129.50. This 14S 40 amp BMS from Dolly is $20.23. Since the other battery packs include a charger, we're also going to include that in our cost. This 52 volt 3 amp charger from AliExpress is $18.30. Things like connectors, tape, Wire, heat shrink tubing, extra nickel strips cost me about $15 since I already have them on hand. All in all, this comes out to $233.28 for material alone. Not bad. You save about $130 over the cheapest pre-built option. I built this pack using a really cheap spot welder and it was a pain in the ass. From start to finish, this battery took me about 7 hours to build. It took me a good chunk of time to figure out how to fit everything in the case. There was a lot of rerouting wires to get everything to fit nicely. If I did this again with a good spot welder, I'm guessing it would take me maybe 2 hours start to finish to build the same battery. I already had the free time available to me, so 7 hours to save $130 doesn't seem too bad. Plus, I get to inspect all my welds and double check everything. However, to some people, 7 hours to build a pack to only save $130 might not even be worth it. On top of that, if you don't already own the necessary tools like a spot welder or a soldering iron, you'll be spending more money to the point where it might be more expensive than buying a pre-built battery. If you know you're going to be building multiple packs, the equipment cost per battery pack will go down over time. So, was it worth it? I'd say it was worth it, but not by much. I could have saved myself basically a day of labor by spending an extra $130, however I do trust my at home quality control more than any other battery pack assembler. I can take as much time as I want verifying the strength of my weld since I'm just building it for myself. If I didn't already own a spot welder and a powerful soldering gun, then I definitely would not have built the pack myself. Since I already have those tools though, I built it. I've already tested the battery pack on my 1500 watt hub motor build and it does not heat up at all, which is perfect. It does fit within the triangle of my bike and mount to the down tube. However, there is a little side to side play in the battery which makes me very nervous about it ripping off given how heavy and tall this battery is. To solve that, I have ordered this triple bob from Grin Technologies. It basically conforms to the shape of your bike's down tube and creates a flat platform for the base of the battery to sit on, which in theory should eliminate the side to side play I'm having. Anyway. That is all for this video. I hope you enjoyed and I'd like to hear your experience building batteries compared to pre-built batteries. Thank you very much for watching. Subscribe for more content like this and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.